Hi guys. Some of you might recognise this impeller blade from one of my previous projects. It actually comes from a solar vent which blows air out of my conservatory, or used to before I took the conservatory apart. But I was wondering whether I could use it to make a coanda effect car. You'll have to bear with me on this if you've no idea what coanda effect is. I've got a plastic mixing bowl here. I'm going to fit that on the front of it. I'm going to cut away this um, base bit that sticks up and also cut away the outside edge because we just want a curved surface. And the idea is this spins round pushing air directly outwards but because of the motion of the air it will actually attach itself like a skin effect over the edge of the curve. So instead of flowing directly out which is the way it will be pushed by these blades it will stick to the edge of the bowl and push out the back so it will actually push a car forwards even though the air should be pointing straight out. So I'll use one of my old chassis, rubber band powered car chassis, mount this on it, put an electric motor through the middle to spin it and see if it works. I've trimmed the bottom edge off the bowl as best I can and trimmed the lip from around the outside so that now fits fairly close. So I'll drill a hole in there so the motor can fit from the outside, sorry, from the inside. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to mount it on the car. I've mounted it on one of my good old faithful rubber band powered car chassis. We'll see if it works. That seems to work. smell the motors overheating. Because <laughs> that's really only a one and a half volt motor and I'm running it on nine volts. I'll let it cool down and then we'll give it another run. The main problem with it overheating is it melts the hot glue that I've got it holding in place with. <laughs> Well, that and the fact that it burns out. I'll give it one more go, but I think I may have cooked that motor. That'll do. There's a definite smell of hot wire or hot motor at the moment and that's hot to touch if I put my finger actually on the motor. So we'll leave it alone, we'll call it a day there. That was a success. So that's another Coanda effect car. So we've got an impeller blade that blows the air out at right angles but because of this curved surface behind it, the air is dragged across the surface and that actually gives us a backward thrust. 
backward. Well, it pushes the car forwards anyway. So, um, I suppose I could tell you what we've got. It's the usual chassis that I use for all sorts of my test beds. So you'll have to look at the video description for details of that. It's a mixing bowl, plastic mixing bowl, that I've cut the lip off it and cut the base off it so that the air can flow straight over it. And then all the black bit is just polystyrene pizza trays used as bracing to hold it all still. It's a one and a half half volt battery, uh, sorry, one and a half volt motor that I'm running off one of my nine volt rechargeable batteries. And that is rather overdoing it. I could probably have put a better motor in there, but that was the one that was available at the time. So, job done. I'm just going to tag this video onto the end of the Coanda effect car. It's got nothing to do with it. I made this earlier today and in the video that I uploaded we were having a bit of trouble because the body was so flexible that the wheels were rubbing on the bodywork. So I've made a minor modification. I've moved the position of the axle tubes to a more rigid part of the bodywork. and I've also put some uh, polystyrene pizza tray in there just to stiffen it up. It's just a little flat piece of pizza tray that's going right across the bodywork in line with the axle tubes. So now they can't rub against the body anymore. So if I turn it on it ought to go. In fact, it goes rather well. <laughs> so I'll just tag this on the end of the Coanda car video. So if people want any more details of this one, I can point them at the Coanda car and say look at the last 10 seconds or whatever it is, 30 seconds.